Yeah, Gerard, can you lead us in prayer? Okay. Um, let's bow down and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thanks for giving us such a wonderful warm day in November. And here we come together and give us the opportunity to study your words. And thank you all for all your blessings. And here we pray that you will give may the Holy Spirit um, give more strength to um, David Choi so that he can um, bring out all the words you want us to hear. And let us remember your words as well. And here we pray for giving us more wisdom and forgive our sins especially. And we also pray for the war in Israel. Hope that the war in Israel will be ended soon. And we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Let's let's get on. So uh, today today is uh, Friday, uh, the third of November, and um, it's a uh, year uh, twenty twenty three, and it is the uh, the twentieth uh, of the month for Chesterman. And um, so uh, today uh, we we're going to study this uh, why era, you know. Every year about this time, you know, we're going to uh, go over some of the uh, uh, part of the uh, Old Testament uh, Torah, uh, you know, uh, on uh, this. Uh, this uh, word is um, means uh, appear or he appear. and uh, it's uh, based on the Torah portion. Uh, you know that uh, with the title Yera, and uh, it's uh, started uh, uh, to be covered by the Genesis uh, chapter eighteen, verse one to uh, twenty-two. So uh, we're going to use that as a basis uh, for study. Um, so um, yeah, because uh, in chapter eighteen, verse one, it may uh, use the word appear, and uh, so you know I'm going to ask uh, Gerard to read for us. Uh, let's see, I'm going to close this off. Okay, uh, so, uh, yeah, so uh, this uh, this is the beginning uh, passage of the uh, 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 chapter 18. Uh, Gerard, please. Okay. And the Lord appeared unto him in the plans of Mary, and he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day. And he lifted up his eyes and looked, and lo, three men stood by him. And when he saw them, he ran to meet them from the tent door, and bowed himself toward the ground, and said, My Lord, if now I have found favor in thy sight, pass not away, I pray thee, from thy servant. Let a little water, I pray you, be fetched, and wash your feet, and rest yourselves under the tree. And I will fetch a morsel of bread, and comfort ye your hearts. After that, ye shall pass on, for therefore uh, ye come to your servant. And they said, So do, as thou hast said. And Abraham hastened into the tent unto Sarah, and said, Make ready quickly three measures of fine meal, knead it and make cakes upon the hearth. And Abraham went into the herd and fetched a calf tender and good, and gave it unto a young man, and he hastened to dress it, and he took butter, and milk and the calf which he had dressed and set it before them. And he stood by them under the tree and they did eat. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. He's, and he stood by them under the tree and they did eat, you know. And um, supposedly that tree is the tree of mem memory. Uh, you know, that's, uh, you know, near Hebron. Um, you know, in the in the town near the town of Hebron. So, uh, so uh, this is the um, uh, you know the you know kind of like the first time 
uh, the law appeared to Abraham. You know, previous time, um, the law appeared to him uh, in a vision and in dreams. And, uh, you know, and, um, but, you know, this time, you know, he uh, come, um, you know, with uh, two, two, two angels, you know, to, uh, you know, and then, and then, you know, the, the, the interesting thing is um, Abraham, who is uh, already 99 years old, and uh, he, uh, he saw that and then he uh, recognized, you know, uh, when the law appeared to him. He recognized, he actually run, <laughs> a 99 years old man, you know. And um, he, so, um, you know, he was, um, he actually, uh, you know, somehow recognized, you know, uh, this is the law, you know. And uh, so, you know, this is a very interesting uh, passage. And then continue uh, about this uh, chapter 18, you know, on. And uh, I'm going to ask uh, Gerard to continue to read uh, chapter 18. Okay. And they said unto him, Where is Sarah, my, thy wife? And he said, Behold, in the tent. And he said, I will certainly return unto the according to the time of life. And lo, Sarah, thy wife shall have a son. And Sarah heard it in the tent door, which was behind him. Now Abraham and Sarah were old and well stricken in age and ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of women. Therefore Sarah laughed within herself, saying, After I am waxed and old, shall I have pleasure, my Lord being old also? <laughs> so um, Sarah was uh, questioning it, uh, but only in her in her heart, you know, she, she didn't say it, but uh, apparently uh, the law, you know, uh, no, no, you know, even though it's uh, behind the tent door. And uh, so Sarah, uh, you know, and then the law uh, uh, confirmed to Sarah that uh, that's going to happen. But uh, also the law, no, you know, was in uh, people's heart. You know, they didn't have to say it, you know, and uh, the law know, know our heart, you know. And, um, uh, so uh, this word appear is uh, very interesting because uh, uh, in uh, uh, chapter 18, verse 1, you know, there's, uh, you know, the Y-A-R-A. Uh, but, you know, it turned out, you know, in the translation, you know, the word appear. And then later on in verse 2, uh, you know, when Abraham looked, and it's the same word. And then he saw, in other words, um, so he recognized you know, it's the same word, you know, so appear, look, saw, you know, it, it, it turned out, you know, it's uh, kind of like a bi-directional, you know, in other words, the law appeared to us, but at the same time, you know, when we look, you know, uh, if you don't look, you know, of course, uh, you cannot uh, never see, you know, even if the law appeared. So you have to kind of, you know, have your, your, your you know, uh, participation uh, uh, because your eyes are looking, you know. And and then you know and then uh, you recognize you 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 saw you know I see you know I saw you know and uh, so and uh, it's that kind of things you know it's uh, like you know if you're not looking or you're not uh, you know reading about God's word or something you know um, so when he appear you know uh, how will you know you know uh, if uh, this is the law you know uh, these kind of things is. Um, or we're talking about the spiritual, you know, um, uh, the, the fact of matter is, you know, if uh, you're not looking or you're not uh, paying attention, and uh, even if the law come by, you know, you you wouldn't know it's the law. <laughs> but anyway, so, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a two-way street. Um, you know, um, you know, you, you uh, when you are, uh, you know, and, and that's the reason why we uh, read up the Bible you know, because this is God's word, you know, and then, and then uh, we, we, when we, we are reading or studying or meditate on it, you know, and, um, and uh, the fact is that uh, the law uh, by the Holy Spirit, you know, through the God's word, um, you know, it's, um, um, help us to understand or perceive or, you know, and then uh, receive, you know, the, um, 
the uh, the, uh, the 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 law, you know, and um, and that's how you know we we uh, receive the blessing. So, and um, now this is the uh, the uh, you know kind of like a summary summary of um of uh, you know the uh, the few chapters that uh, from eighteen to twenty two, um you know it's uh, like you know the um, uh, in uh, chapter 18, you know, uh, a son was promised to Abraham and Sarah. And uh, at that time, you know, a Abraham was 99 years old. Okay. And then, you know, in the in the same visit, you know, and then uh, uh, the law uh, prolongs judgment on Sodom, you know, because uh, they were in, on Hebron, is the highland. And uh, so, you know, that when they looked down to the valley, you know, where Sodom and Gomorrah was, and, uh, you know, it's in the same visit, the same visit, um, you know, when uh, the Lord visited uh, Abraham. And uh, so, you know, he talked about 18, 19, you know, it's the, uh, and uh, talk about the uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, they are, you know, being destroyed, uh, um, you know, in uh, shortly. And uh, so, but what happened was that uh, uh, during that time, you know, the uh, there was a, uh, uh, the uh, the nephew or, or Abraham Lot you know Lot um, the name is Lot uh, Lot you know and uh, so Lot was uh, you know uh, uh, you know living in uh, Sodom you know so apparently Abraham did uh, plead for the people of, of Sodom you know and uh, maybe in the hope that uh, Lot uh, would be spared or safe and. Uh, so as a result, you know, in the same chapter when Sodom and Gomorrah was de to be destroyed, and uh, you know, Lot uh, was able to uh, somehow, you know, uh, barely safe, barely safe, and uh, so as a result, you know, uh, only uh, two da daughters and uh, and uh, Lot uh, was safe, you know, in the in the family. Um, uh, the family was not uh, just. Uh, uh, two daughters and you know that there, there is uh, his wife and then actually there are sons and son-in-law you know uh but you know we won't go into you know how to uh, uh you know account for that you know because uh, they were uh, they, they the rest of the family will perish but anyway so after lot left uh and uh, managed to escape you know uh, kind of like a fire escape <laughs> escape through the fire escape you know uh, by the two angels. And then, um, you know, there, uh, as a result, you know, the two daughters have produced uh, two, two, uh, uh, two uh, 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 race. One is the Moabite and one is the Ammonite, you know, uh, after the, after the uh, uh, destruction of uh, Sodom. And, and then, uh, uh, you know, uh, perhaps because, uh, uh, Abraham uh, saw, you know, and Sarah also uh, saw the, uh, the 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 sad uh, destructions of the valley. Uh, it became the Dead Sea, you know, and uh, it's uh, very sad. So uh, Abraham actually moved, uh, you know, soon after, you know, and to a place called Gerar. <laughs> not the uh, not uh, you know uh, you know it's an you know it's a place away from the uh, the the Vista. That you can see all this destruction, you know, because, uh, you know, it's a uh, it's a uh, scary, it's very sad, you know. Um, so Abraham and Sarah move away from the from from the highland that can oversee, you know, the uh, the the uh, you know the um, Dead Sea, and uh, so uh, you know he has uh, some encountering with uh, uh, you know the Abimelech, Abimelech uh, of. Uh, in Gerard, you know, the king, you know, there's, there's a king, uh, Abimelech. And uh, so, and then uh, on the next chapter, uh, after the encountering with uh, Abimelech, uh, then uh, in uh, 21, the birth uh, of Isaac came, you know, and uh, that's when uh, Abraham was 100 years old, you know, because uh, he was promised, uh, uh, they were promised uh, uh, a son, when they were 99 years old. And then so when it was 100 years old, Abraham was 100 years old, uh, Isaac uh, was born. Um, and then, you know, in a, uh, in a three years time, 
uh, in uh, Genesis 21, uh, chapter, uh, verse 8, uh, Hagar and Ishmael were sent away. And uh, because, uh, well, we, we're going to read uh, about that, you know. And uh, and uh, still that time, you know, they, um, you know, Abraham and Abimelech uh, make a covenant, you know. It is the same Abimelech, uh, you know, uh, previously, uh, you know, um, trying to take uh, Sarah as a wife, you know, uh, you know, as a concubine, you know, perhaps. But uh, now, you know, they, they uh, Abimelech recognized that um, uh, God is with, uh, the Lord is with uh, Abraham. So, uh, so Abimelech want to have a, have a, you know, have a peace treaty, you know, a covenant. And, um, uh, and then in chapter 22, and that is actually same, 17 years later, you know, uh, about 17 years later, you know, when Isaac was a teenager. And then uh, the Lord uh, commanded um, Abraham, um, you know, to sacrifice Isaac in a, in a place called Moriah. And uh, that was uh, when uh, Isaac was 17 years old, you know. So um, he was actually told to uh, bear the wood you know, uh, going uphill to uh, to uh, to Mount Moriah. You know, so uh, that is the uh, you know the few chapters that um, you know they, they uh, you know they're going to read and then uh, you know the story uh, in those days. And so uh, we're going to just cover a portion of it. Uh, uh, I'm going to ask Gerard to read. Uh, you know. Uh, in uh, Genesis 19, you know, uh, uh, something about the the, uh, the story of Lot, you know, that that um, you know he 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 uh, you know uh, he was in uh, in the middle of uh, uh, you know in, in the in the situation, you know, uh, you know at the at the at the last day of uh, Sodom, at the last day of Sodom, Genesis 19:19. 19, 19. Okay. Behold now, thy servant hath found grace in thy sight, and thou hast magnified thy mercy, which thou hast shown unto me in saving my life. And I cannot escape to the mountain, lest some evil take me, and I die. Behold now, this city is near to flit unto and it is a little one. Oh, let me escape either. And my soul shall leave. And he said unto him, See, I have accepted thee concerning this thing also, that I will not overthrow this city, for the which thou hast spoken, has thee escaped either? For I cannot do anything till thou be come either. Therefore, the name of the city was called Sora. The sun was risen upon the earth when Lord entered into Sora. Then the Lord reigned upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah, brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven and he overthrew these cities and all the plan and all the inhabitants of the cities and they which grow upon the ground but this but his wife looked back from behind him and should become a pillar of salt mm, okay yes so um you know this is the um uh, you know the uh, you know uh, before the Sodom was destroyed. You know this is the uh, uh, the conversation between uh, Lot and also the, uh, the two angels. The you know the you know uh, to uh, to uh, the, to lead the uh, to lead uh, guide him and uh, his family to out out from Sodom. You know. And and so you know uh, you can see you know that uh, they were really uh, I mean he was really desperate you know he's not sure he he is going to make it you know and then he asked that uh, he uh, he want to uh, maybe uh, come to this city and uh, and then you know the angel you know 
uh, the uh, us uh, uh, upon us that uh, he will not fall overflow that little city. You know, so in other words, uh, he answer. You know, the the the, the he answer uh, the prayer. In fact, you know, uh, I believe you know, even though he said these two angels, uh, but it is uh, actually by the hand by the promise of Jesus, because uh, in the in the scripture in the original language uh, the, of Hebrew, it uh, it uh, has this uh, hidden word. You know, eight five three eight five three is uh, the alektav or Alpha and Omega, you know, which is uh, the insignia for Jesus. <laughs> so, so by by Jesus, you know that, that uh, uh, you know which thou has shown unto me in saving, you know Jesus saving my life. You know this is actually the what the scripture actually meant, and also uh, and the angel promises uh, I will not over you know uh, Jesus overthrow this city. So in other words, uh, it's all in uh, Jesus' hand, you know, that uh, people are safe and uh, people are, you know, uh, are help, you know, uh, especially in the time of trouble. And uh, so even for for Lot, and uh, it was uh, it's uh, it was uh, all Jesus' work, you know. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, you know, Jesus was not a, uh, uh, you know, a king down uh, to be son of man yet, you know. He, but uh, he's always son of God, you know. So. And uh, so uh, we we already studied that uh, you know many times before you know about this uh, um, you know hidden word you know that's also in the Old Testament you know this is the hidden word you know that uh, uh, was meant uh, to be Jesus but anyway so uh, you can see you know that um, um, you know that was the account and then of course uh, the sad thing is that his wife looked back. He, you know, actually, he was told not to look back. You know, but uh, uh, you know, when he, uh, when the angels told Lot, you know, at Bernie, the wife uh, heard that, but uh, you know, she she chose to look back. You know, she uh, she really cared about the the city of Sodom. You know that uh, which uh, you know, and and uh, there is actually a, a you know a, a lesson. Because uh, you know, later on, uh, when Jesus said, uh, "Remember the time, the day of Lot," well, why, why, you know, because uh, in the last day, you know, there's going to be uh, a time that uh, you know uh, this uh, story, uh, you know, is uh, applicable uh, for us. You know, uh, we, you know, and uh, you know, likewise, uh, we're told not to look back. Well, this look back thing, you know, for his wife is um, is uh, you know is. Um, just uh, you know, turn the head, you know, and then, uh, you know, look look at the uh, the judgment or destruction of Sodom. But you know, if you think about that, it's also mean uh, for us uh, uh, spiritually. Spiritually, that means uh, we don't look back to the old covenant. You know, people like to say, uh, you know, uh, when the destruction comes, you know, and then uh, they keep uh, looking back, you know, to the you know the 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 law the law of Moses. Uh, look look back to uh, the old covenant. Uh, you know what what's the point? Because uh, we already have the new covenant. You know we are living under the the uh, the grace and uh, and truth for Jesus. You know uh, you know he has uh, done everything uh, need necessary for our salvations. You know and uh, our our life has been spared and uh, you know all the sins have been forgiven so why why do people look back you know uh, you know it, it turned out yes uh, in these last days a lot of churches are looking back you know and uh, you know for for some reason you know they they want to say you know they are more holy than other people um you know so uh, a lot of denominations a lot of churches you know a lot of religious leaders you know they they like to point people to look back you know and uh, jesus uh, in many times not just one time you know jesus have said you know those people that uh, look back are, are you know uh, are not worthy of the uh, of the uh, you know the uh, the salvations you know there are people that are uh, you know plowing you know following holding the the plow you know going forward and then, uh, but there are people that look back, you know, and uh, those people, um, you know, would not have, would not be have been blessed or safe, you know. And 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 it, this is, um, you know, it's a it's a it's a it's a 
you know, uh, what the scripture, what the God's word is saying, you know, how, why, why do you want to look back? Why, why do you want to go back to the Old Testament things, uh, you know, uh, practice uh, Ten Commandments and this and that, you know, why, you know, uh, when, when the wife looked back to the city of Sodom, you know, which uh, has a uh, past glory, but uh, now it's all destruction, you know, it's uh, just a uh, fear and condemnations. And uh, and then so she ended up uh, became a pillar of salt. You know? So so uh, that's uh, something uh, you, you you need to ponder on, upon, uh, you know about. And uh, continue on the chapter nineteen again. You know, uh, uh, you know this is uh, you know on the on the story of the uh, destruction of Sodom. I'm going to ask the uh, Gerard to read. We uh, continue to read. And Abraham got up early in the morning to the place where he stood before the Lord, and he looked toward Sodom and um, Gomorrah, and toward all the land of the plain, and beheld and lo, the smoke of the country went up as the smoke of the furnace, and it came to pass, where when God destroyed the cities of the plain, that God remembered Abraham and sent Lot out of the midst of the overthrow when he overthrew the cities in the which Lot dwelled. Mm. Mm. So, so uh, in the in the um, in this account, you know, then uh, you know, it's uh, uh, you know when a uh, Lot uh, was able to uh, leave. Uh, by the uh, by the hand of the two angels and um, so you know uh, but uh, of course uh, he was uh, very uh, safe you know it's um, it's um, it's uh, like you're going through a fire you know and uh, it's uh, of course uh, it's very scary but then you know the fact of, is that uh, you know the Lord uh, chose to uh, stay in Sodom and uh, try try to you know practice uh, his um you know, he he does he did uh, have a uh, faith in God. You know, but uh, uh, you know, it's uh, not not uh, the same same level of faith uh, as Abraham. You know, he he believed God, but then uh, uh, so God uh, deemed him to be a righteous man. Uh, but still, you know, um, um, you know, it uh, seems like you know he's uh, yeah, you know he was just a uh, barely barely alive, uh, very safe. You know, uh, but you notice that uh, again. You know, there's um, uh, many reference of the eight five three, and uh, and seems like you know all the actions, like God destroy and then uh, and then God remember and uh, uh, and send Lord. You know, and uh, and then overflow of the city. You know, so all these uh, word, all these uh, action word. Uh, actually have a uh, 853 uh, along you know within the within the words or within the sentence you know uh, you know kind of associate with the you know uh, like like uh, you know stood uh, before the law and uh, destroy got destroyed you know and then uh, God remember you know and so it's it's because of Jesus it's uh, all Jesus things you know it's uh, you know in in our time of need you know um, you know you um, know you know the the personal relationship, you know, with with uh, Lord Jesus is uh, how uh, we we come through. You know all this hardship. You know all this. Uh, you know it's not like watching CNN or or BBC. You know somehow uh, you you would feel better. You know because uh, those are just uh, you know those are you know things uh, that bring you fear and condemnations. But you know. Uh, it, it's the it's it's uh, it's the Lord Jesus that saved you. It's not even the church, or it's not uh, your your pastor, or or your your denomination that that would help you or save you. A lot of people um, kind of confused. You know, they 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 think you know if um you know uh, you stick with uh, uh, uh you know a, a faith in a church or in a denomination or in uh, in your your you know. Uh, personal pastor, and uh, somehow you know it, it'd be okay, but the 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 the, the pastor is uh, also in the same bind, you know, and, and they, we all need the 
you know, the, you know, our Lord Jesus, the Lord is my shepherd, you know, I shall not lack anything because it's uh, because uh, it, it's uh, my Lord, it's my shepherd, you know, it's a, it's a personal relationship, you know, that we have. And, and that's why, you know, um, uh, you know, typically we are uh, at the end of uh, our study, we're going to have a, a communion with the Lord. You know, we are partaking uh, his life, his uh, death. We are partaking his body and then his blood, you know, because uh, it's the his body and his blood that was broken for us and then shed for us, for me, you know, so. So you know he's the savior, not not a church, not a not a you know a, a religion. Okay, uh, so you know uh, you 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 need to recognize, um, you know uh, you know his uh, that you know it's a uh, it's a uh, you know Jesus, you know that uh, even even for a lot, you know he was a very alive, but uh, you know it's all all because uh, by the grace of Jesus, yes, you know, and. Uh, So, uh, you know, there are a couple of words, uh, you know, um, um, you know, um, um, I'm going to just uh, ask uh, Gerard read both uh, 17 and also 26 uh, for comparison. And it came to pass when they had brought them forth aboard, that he said, Escape for thy life, look not behind thee, neither stay thou in all the plan, escape to the mountain lest thou be consumed. But his wife looked back from behind him and she became a pillar of salt. Mm. So so uh, this is uh, the instruction uh, by the angel uh, to uh, the, the, the family of Lot. And uh, uh, when they, you know, is the angels have brought them, you know, is the family forth aboard that he said, escape for thy life. Look, lot behind, you know. So in other words, you know, why why do people, you know, try to, uh, uh, you know, uh, bring bring back, you know, the uh, that like the old confident, you know, the old confident uh, could not, uh, you know, cannot uh, save anyone, you know. It's a it's the instrument of condemnation. Uh, it's uh, to point out that uh, no one can can be can save themselves, you know. And uh, but the uh, you know the instruction is very clear, you know, just look forward and then escape to the mountain, you know, lest uh, thou be consumed. So uh, that, that, that is, um, that's a possibility, you know, when people uh, are trying to look look behind the, uh, them. And, uh, but apparently a wife uh, refused, you know, even in uh, this uh, simple, simple command, you know. And uh, so, um, yeah, you know, the um, uh, we have uh, done so many study that uh, you know the old covenant cannot save, and then, but you know the in the family a lot, you know, um, you know, um, um, even the family have uh, a lot of you know like the wife, and then you know the son that they were not mentioned, and son you know, and uh, they they were all gone, you know, they are no more. So yes, you know, uh, this is Hebron. Hebron is uh, on high land, you know, and then. Uh, Hebron, uh, when looking down, you know, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a, um, and uh, you know, the the this is the uh, now the Dead Sea. This is now the Dead Sea, you know, and this Dead Sea is a uh, very strange, you know, because uh, it is the lowest ponds in uh, elevations, lowest pond in elevation in the whole earth. The Dead Sea is below sea level. So you know if uh, if uh, there's a canal you know that connect the Dead Sea and the uh, the oceans, then the o water or ocean uh, with would uh, come with go into the Dead Sea you know because the uh, Dead Sea is uh, many hundred meter below the, the sea level, and uh, uh, but anyway so so the Hebron is on high ground you know and uh, that's uh, where Abraham was. Uh, and uh, and the law was uh, with Abraham when they look, you know, and uh, you know, and the law uh, start, uh, you know, plan to. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, saying uh, he's going to judge uh, the the Sodom and Gomorrah. Now it becomes the Dead Sea. So uh, in the New Testament, um, uh, Jesus did uh, mention about that. Um, you know, in Luke uh, seventeen. Uh, so I'm going to ask. Uh, uh, um, 
Gerard with uh, Luke 17. Remember Lord's wife? Whosoever, whosoever, whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it. And whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. Mm. Mm. So, uh, so uh, it's a very, you know, in, in the New Testament, it's uh, particularly Jesus uh, mentioned, remember Lord's wife, you know. So the wife a lot, you know, is um, uh, apparently, you know, uh, she she is, uh, you know, actively, she was actively trying to save herself you know, because, uh, of course, um, you know, the fire, the uh, destruction, you know, the things uh, that happen in, you know, then and then and, and, and so she wants to watch it. So, uh, you know, and then and, and, uh, in, in this uh, trying to, you know, uh, uh, you know, figure out how to save herself is uh, actually not not helping because uh, whosoever shall lose his life shall be served. In, in other words, um, you know, we, 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 we have to know, you know, uh, no matter what, you know, uh, we, we look to Jesus. Uh, Jesus uh, would die for, would have uh, died for us. In fact, he did. And then so, you know, when, when you realize uh, when Jesus uh, uh, was crucified on the cross and uh, died for us, we are the same, you know, so, um, you know, we, we, because uh, we are in Christ, you know, we, we look unto uh, Christ Jesus. And uh, when we are in the, we are, you know, look unto Jesus and uh, we, we don't care about the rest of the, you know, uh, it's, like I said, you know, it's not the CNN or BBC or ABC that can, uh, you know, help us, you know, uh, that information, uh, uh, you know, it's not the saving, um, you know, the, 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 uh, the soul, you know, it's, uh, it's, um, you know, it's the, you know, the, uh, uh, Jesus, you know, he said, uh, you know, we, we look unto him, um, you know, even though, uh, uh, you know, we, we don't physically see Jesus, but uh, in uh, God's word, you know, and, uh, you know, we, we are, when we are, uh, you know, um, you know, looking unto him and, uh, you know, even though, you know, he, he was dead, uh, but he's alive, he's, he's the only one that's alive, you know, after death. And okay. and so you know uh, when we look unto him, and uh, we 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 are one with him, and uh, we we uh, you know, well you know it's no longer the same you know he he has done it for us. And and so uh, this is continuing on on, uh, uh, you know in the Luke nineteen I mean Luke nine, uh, can can you uh, read read for us? For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. For what is a man advantage if he gain the whole world and lose himself or be cast away? For whosoever shall be ashamed of me and of my words, of him shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he shall come in his own glory and in his father's and of the holy angels. But I tell you of a truth, there be some standing here which shall not taste of death till they see the kingdom of God. Mm. Thank you, thank you. Now this uh verse twenty four, you know, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it, but whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. You know, uh, this is a uh, way uh, similar to the verse same uh, uh, chapter seventeen, uh, but this one is another time, another account. You know, so so this one, uh, you know, whosoever save his life shall lose it, but whosoever will uh, lose his life for my sake, you know. So uh, this is a, uh, uh, you know, uh, a very clear, you know, clarification about, you know, uh, you know, even though you know a lot of people look down on, uh, you know, the Christian faith, uh, saying, you know, uh, you know, God, uh, you know, or, or Son of God, you know, Jesus have, have died a horrible death, you know, uh, but he actually he 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 was uh, taking over. You know all your sin, all your suffering, all your pains, and all your past, and uh, that, 
uh, you know, you would not uh, taste death, you know, because he loses his life for you. And uh, so, you know, uh, along with him, uh, we identify with him uh, and uh, we we are the we of saving, you know, because uh, he had died and uh, buried and, uh, you know, and then uh, 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 resurrected and then went up to heaven. That that thing is also, uh, you know, um, in, in God's word, you know, that uh, God uh, would see everyone dead follow, you know, and believe in, and, uh, you know, uh, look unto him or hung to his, uh, his, uh, his, uh, you know, has uh, his life. And, uh, you know, we are also uh, would be uh, crucified, die, you know, but uh, not painfully. And, uh, and, uh, and then uh, we, we are also already resurrected. And then but now we are in heaven because uh, we are one body with Jesus. We are one body. We are one. We are, you know, we identify ourselves with Christ Jesus. So, so, uh, so, so, uh, you know, this thing is, um, uh, you know, in in the chapter nine of uh, Luke, Luke's account, you know, but, uh, um, you know, um, you know, in the same thing, you know, it actually mentioned about the, um, you know, the, uh, you know, the Lord's wife, you know, because, uh, you know, she, she tried to. Uh, figure out what you know what's the situation you know maybe she can help herself you know but when she looked back you know she relying on her eyes with well, her on her intellect you know and then uh, end up you know she lost it uh you know uh, so what happened with lot uh, the, the 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 you know after the um disaster what well, after the judgments and uh, this is what happened and uh, it turned out uh in uh, the Ptolemy, you know there was a um, instruction by um, uh, God to uh, Moses, you know, not to border the, the land of Moabites or not to uh, fight against the children of Ammon. You know, uh, the, the Moabite, uh, you know, the, the land that belonged to Moabite, you know, uh, you know, uh, Moses were told not, not to, not to fight them, not to uh, take, uh, take, uh, take, uh, take possession of you know, the uh, Moabite land and then also the Amun, the Ammonite, you know, uh, land. And uh, so because, uh, you know, the law have uh, allotted, you know, uh, you know, the, the different land and the different territories uh, for, you know, uh, the pe people of the world. You know, it's not up to, you know, the, um, you know, even though if uh, they are, you know, Christian, you uh, or they are, you know, they, they're not supposed to, uh, you know, disturb other people, you know, and then and, and try to take away their, their, you know, their land, you know, um, you know, and uh, so the more by, even though they, they, uh, you know, for a long time, you know, they were having curse, uh, they, they have idolatry and so forth, and the same thing for Ammonite, but, you know, still, you know, uh, in uh, God's, uh, or, you know, um, uh, view, you know, that, uh, you know, it's it's not uh, up to, uh, you know, even, uh, you know, uh, children in Israel to take away other people's land, you know, and uh, so, you know, that has been, uh, so uh, the uh, the Moabite, you know, is a uh, land of A-R, you know, and it, you know, it's uh, on the east side of jo uh, Dead Sea, this is the Dead Sea, this is the Dead Sea, so it's on the east side, you know, um, you know, it is a uh, AL is um uh, is uh, in the uh, in the high ground. You know, um, you know next to this uh, river. That's the this uh, this river. You know, in the in the center of that sea. See that. And uh, so you know the uh, the land has um uh, not been uh, touched by the uh, uh the the children of Israel uh, even though they pass through it. Even though they pass through. It. And uh, and uh, so uh, that is the um, current, uh, you know, Google map. You know, it's uh, it's uh, you know something like here. You know, there, there's a river that run, uh, you know, mid uh, in the sand, you know, mid middle ground of the Dead Sea. You know, and uh, so this is uh, kind of like, you know, the uh, where the, the land of Moab. You know, but the land of Mo uh, Moab is, uh, you know, they they have been on the 
um, uh, you know, on the uh, east side of Jordan. Um, you know, this is actually called Plain of Moab. Plain of Moab here, you know. That's uh, where, where um, uh, you know, they, before the children of Israel uh, come into the promised land, uh, cross the Jordan into, uh, you know, uh, the battle of Jericho. And, uh, you know, this is, um, you know, where um, Moses, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, prepared to die, you know. And then the almond, the almond is over here, you know, the almondite. Uh, the almond is, uh, you know, the, you know, this, uh, kind of like this river, uh, you know, the, this is the almond, uh, the land of almondite. And, uh, so, so, uh, you know, the, 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 the this now is the, 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 uh, country of Jordan, you know, basically the country of Jordan. So after the, uh, the, uh, the the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, and uh, Abraham actually moved. Abraham uh, uh, moved to another place. So uh, I'm going to ask you Ra to continue reading uh, Genesis 20. And Abraham journeyed from thence toward the south country, and dwelt between Kadesh and Shur, and so John in Gerar. And Abraham said of Sarah, his wife, she is my sister, and Abim, my king of Gerard, sent and took Sarah. But God came to Abimelech in a dream by night and said to him, Behold, thou art but a dead man, for the woman which thou hast taken for she is a man's wife. But Abraham Merak had not come near her, and uh, and he said, Lord, wilt thou slay also a righteous nation? Said he not unto me, she is my sister, and she even she herself said, he is my brother in the antiquity of my heart and innocence of my hands have I done this. Okay. So um so uh this uh you know as a perhaps as a result of um you know what what he saw you know in the in the valley that uh, the whole valley was um uh, uh, you know virtually destroyed and then so he moved away he moved away from uh, Mem or Hebron. You know, he uh he moved to another place called Gerard, you know. No, not not the, the name Gerard, but uh, it's uh, it's also called city of Gerard. And uh, so he has an encounter of the king of Gerard, Abimelech. And uh, so apparently Sarah, even though she she was uh, ninety, uh, eight, you know, eighty nine years old, and uh, and she was bearing uh, Isaac already, and uh, she, she you know, but uh, she was so. Uh, Beautiful, you know, um, physically beautiful, you know, um, you know, for eighty-nine years old <laughs> uh, woman, you know, and uh, so the Abimelech, uh, you know, uh, 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 you know, talk, um, you know, find an excuse and then talk, um, to, uh, talk Sarah, you know, was going to, but you know, uh, Abimelech had not uh, been able to come, come near yet, you know, and uh, God, so God um, talked to Abimelech in a dream. <laughs> and you, and the first thing is, uh, he said, you know, behold, you are a dead man, you know, <laughs> for the for the woman, uh, you have taken uh, his uh, his uh, an, a man's wife, <laughs> boy, you know, that's uh, that's uh, you know, that dream is a nightmare, you know, is a nightmare, you know, for a female, you know, but actually, um. Yes, uh, you know, God uh, spoke uh, to Abimelech, and then, uh, and then, uh, so you know, he uh, he tried to uh, defend himself. You know, he 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 said, you know, I I didn't know that, but um, you know, uh, I was told, you know, they they were brother and sister. You know, they didn't know uh, his uh, a man's a man's wife. I mean, she's a man's wife. And and so you know, uh, continue in uh, chapter twenty. Um, uh, 
and 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 then still in a dream, you know. <laughs> God sometimes I talk to uh, to the talk to people in a dream. Okay, uh, so uh, uh, Gerard, can you read for us uh, these uh, verses? Yes, and God said unto him in a dream, "Ye, I know that thou didst this in the integrity of thy heart, for I also withheld thee from sinning against me. Therefore, suffer that I thee not to touch her." Now, therefore, restore the man his wife, for he is a prophet, and he shall pray for thee, and thou shalt live. And if thou restore her not, know thou that thou shalt surely die, thou and all that are thine. Therefore, Abimelech rose early in the morning and called all his servants and told all these things in their ears, and the men were so afraid. Mm. Wow, you know, it, uh, you know. So uh, this is uh, what's happening. What what happened was that um, God uh, still talking with with uh, Abimelech in a in a dream in in the dream, and and yes, he he know that you know Abimelech was. Um, uh, you know, it did have some integrity, you know, and uh, so uh, you know, actually, God uh, helped him uh, not to sin, you know, because uh, he had not touched, he had not touched uh, Sarah yet, you know. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's uh, now uh, notice that uh, you know when when uh, the you know the law talked to Abimelech, it's not the uh, the law, it's God, you know, so. Um, so uh, this God is the the you know the 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 creator God you know the the also the judgment uh, you know the, the God the judge you know so um, you know uh, you know it's not like uh, Abimelech have, have a relationship you know because uh, you know when you have a relationship a family relationship uh, is the law but you know when when uh, you you don't really know uh, the law then uh, you you know he's just a God to you. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so uh, so uh, you know he he uh, uh, explained uh, to Abimelech, you know that uh, Abraham is a prophet, and uh, he shall pray for thee, you know. So in other words, um, uh, but you know, uh, of course, uh, in order for for him to pray for, then uh, you know, uh, have to restore, you know, restore. Uh, you know, so you know, God uh, uh, of the law protect his uh, own people. You know, prof, you know, prophet. You know, so uh, Abraham, even though he lied, he did lie. You know, he said, uh, uh, "Sarah is my 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 uh, sister." You know, so uh, he he was not a uh, uh, completely truthful. But you know, the yeah, it doesn't matter. You know, the law call him. He's he's a prophet. You know, in God's eye, you know, he's. Abraham was a prophet, so uh, you know it's all up to the the point of view of the law. You know how he see you. Now in our case, you know because uh, we are we are sons and daughters of God. You know so uh, we are all, you know, um, uh, priests and kings. You know uh, in the kingdom, in the kingdom of the law. Uh, it, it's all in the Bible. Okay, you know I I, I didn't uh, uh, you know um, uh, you know come up with that kind of idea. You know it's uh, it's it's the water. You know God's word said about you, and then uh, you you are you you believe, and then you are you know the you know sons and daughter of God. You know because uh you know you you are related, uh you are you are related by blood to uh, Jesus Christ. You know not the not the genetically, uh you know um you know but uh you know because uh you are through the seed of uh uh, uh, uh you know uh, Jesus Christ. You know now. And and so you know Abimelech uh, you know woke up in the morning, you know and then, and then you know and then um, he 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 told all the men you know all the men about these things all the servants. Now where's Gerard? Gerard is uh, supposed to be here, somewhere here. You know it's uh, away from the from the high ground you know that look down to the valley. You know it's uh, you know so he, he wouldn't you know I guess you know he moved here you know so that he can be. You know, uh, uh, would not be uh, looking at the uh, 
all, all this uh, destruction, you know, after the destruction, uh, it's a very sad, you know, uh, place. You know, so he moved away, you know. And uh, so uh, it turned out, you know, Gaza is uh, nearby. Gaza is nearby. Bishop, you see, you know, this is all, all the, you know, the story. Yeah, it, uh, it's another picture. Yeah, it's over here, you know, and the, the, the Gaza, you know, where they have uh, all this uh, death and killings. Uh, the, you know, children and uh, everyone else, you know, uh, um, you know, it's so, so sad, you know, that um, uh, the, you know, in fact, uh, they were, they were both uh, Abraham's uh, two sons. They were both uh, Abraham, two sons, uh, the uh, Jewish people and the Arabs. So, yes, uh, in fact, uh, we're going to talk about that. You know, Abraham had two sons. You know, it's in chapter 21. So uh, it's um, just happened that uh, we are studying the Torah. And uh, the, so this is part of the 21, chapter 21. So I'm going to ask uh, Gerard to read uh, now the chapter 21, uh, the all the verses. Okay. And the child grew and was uh, wind. And Abraham made a great feast the same day that Isaac was wind and Sarah saw the son of Hagar, Hagar, the Egyptian, which she had born unto Abraham, mocking. Wherefore she said unto Abraham, Cast out his, this born woman and her son, for the son of this born woman shall not be her, shall not be higher with my son, even with Isaac. And the thing was very grief, grievous, in Abraham's sight because of his son. And God said unto Abraham, Let it not be grievous in thy sight because of the lad and because of thy born woman in all that Sarah hath said unto thee. Hear, hearken unto her voice, for in Isaac shall thy seed be called, and also of the son of the born woman, do I make a nation, because he is thy seed. And Abraham rose up early in the morning, and took bread and a bottle of water, and gave it unto Hagar, putting it on her shoulder and the child, and sent her away. And she departed, and she wandered in the wilderness of Beersheba, and the water was spent in the and she cast the child under one of the shrubs. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. Well, you know, that's uh, part of the family things uh, that happen in um, in the uh, Abraham's household. You know, because uh, he had two sons. Uh, the older son were by the concubine, the the Hagar, the 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 slave. You know, the servant from Egypt. And uh, but Sarah is the you know the true, true wife, and so God have ordained you know that Sarah uh, uh, give birth to Isaac. You know it's a uh, Isaac was uh, uh, given. You know remember you know um, Abraham was a uh, hundred years old. You know, and then so uh, the time when uh, Isaac was weaned. You know in other words, uh, uh, weaned means uh, you know guy like right. And then so, you know, like something like uh, three years old. And, uh, but, you know, the, obviously, um, just like in uh, those uh, Chinese drama story, you know, the, the concubine, you know, uh, you know, was mocking the, 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 the son, the, the true son. And then, and then uh, the, you know, because uh, they are always uh, that kind of, um, you know, um, you know, they, they want to, you know, by human nature, you know, they, they, you know, Hagar want to take over, you know, because uh, he has the older son. The older son is already grown up uh, to be a teenager. And uh, so, uh, end up, you know, the um, by uh, God's uh, permission, and, um, you know, Abraham, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, follow uh, what Sarah had demanded and uh, cast out the born woman. And then and the and the and the son, you know, um, Ishmael. Yeah, this is Beersheba, you know. So uh, this is uh, where 
uh, uh, you know, the uh, the the uh, the Hager, the born woman and the son, you know, uh, got lost, you know, they, and uh, you know, and that is, uh, you know, and uh, he he was uh, he he was uh, getting ready uh, because, uh, um, you know, that there, there's no way out. And uh, so, you know, continue on uh, in chapter 21. Uh, this is the story of that uh, family. Uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, I asked uh, Gerard to read, uh, finish reading it. And she went and set her own, set her down over against him a good way off, as it were a bow shot for. She said, let me not see the death of the child. And she sat over against him and lift up her voice and wept. And God heard the voice of the man and the angel of God called to heaven, out of the heaven, and said unto her, What all thee have Fear not, for God hath heard the voice of the lad where he is. Arise, lift up the lad, and hold him in thy hand. For I will make him a great nation. And God opened her eyes, and she saw a well of water. And she went and filled the bottle of with fret with water, and gave the lad drink. And God was with the lad, and he grew and dwelt in the wilderness, and became an anchor and archer, and. He dwelt in the wilderness of Paran, and his mother took him a wife out of the land of Egypt. Mm. Wow, you know, this is amazing. You know, this is, um, you know, a lot of people uh, skip their, this passage here. Uh, you know, so yes, uh, uh, God, uh, the law, the law chose um, Isaac and uh, full Sarah. Uh, to to be uh, the progenitor, uh, to be for the Jewish race, uh, but also uh, to to be to have the seed of Abraham, so that the whole world would be safe, you know. So uh, so this is all a, a pre-planned picture, you know. It's a it's a visionary pictorial, you know, to show, you know, uh, you know, by Jesus uh, that uh, people are safe, uh, the whole world, the whole world, you know, any anyone. And everyone, whosoever, you know, remember the word whosoever. But you know, it's not like you know, uh, uh, you know, the uh, God uh, has um, has uh, given up on Hagar. You know, God, God did not. You know, now it's it, it, you have to understand. You know, uh, in order for uh, the law, you know, to give a complete picture, so that uh, we get ready <laughs> to believe in Jesus. Uh, you know. God also have a way, uh, you know, uh, the plan uh, for 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 the for the Hagar and uh, his uh, and her her son Ishmael. Now, so in uh, chapter twenty one, verse twenty, he said, "God was with the lad." Now, it's a uh, it's a uh, it's not the law; it's God. You know, in other words, you know, God God did uh, have a plan. Also for for the uh, you know for the descendant of uh, Ishmael, you know God was with the land, and then so he grew, e even though in the wilderness in the in the wilderness of Paran, you know, and the uh, people ask uh, where Paran is, you know, um, you know uh, there's a lot of disagreement, you know, where Paran is, and uh, you know I believe personally I think uh, it's the Arab pe Peninsula possibly near Mecca or something like that. But but the whole point was that it doesn't matter. You know, the um, the the you know you know even though you know in spite of um um you know the the law choosing um you know the law of course um, is a um, uh, you know uh, is a a personal relationship you know uh with you know um the Abraham and so you know it, it, uh, the whole picture is uh is uh kind of like uh, the 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 big picture for the world to see and understand, you know, that how Jesus come about. But you know, uh, it's not like you know the, uh, uh, you know, the Ishmael was given up by, by God. You know, God us was with the lad. So what happened is, uh, uh, Ishmael, 
even though you know, uh, uh, you know along with Hager, the, the mother was driven out from the family, but they they did they did have still have a relationship. They did have a relationship. So when Abraham died, you know, and uh, both uh, Isaac and Ishmael, the two sons, bury Abraham. So so uh, is in the chapter twenty five, and uh, so. Uh, you know, I'm going to ask uh, Gerard to read uh, the the blue verses. Okay. <clears throat> and these are the days of the years of Abraham's life, which he lived, and hundred the three score and fifteen years. Then Abraham gave up the whole ghost and died in a good old age, an old man and full of years, and was gathered to his people. And his sons Isaac and Ishmael buried him in the cave of Mahpelah, in the field of Ephron, the son of Sora, the Hitt Hittite, which is before Mari. Mari, yes. Yeah, thank you, thank you. So, so uh, you know, this is, uh, you know, the... The uh, end ending part for uh, Abraham, who lived to 175 years old, 175 years old, and and then you know at that time you know the apparently uh, Ishmael uh, you know uh, when when um, you know um, in the in the funeral in the burial, uh, Ishmael and Isaac both of them you know uh, you know were, were in the in the in the you know burial ground you know in the cave from Mapella. And uh, we're going to talk about that um, uh, another time, you know, because uh, this is a very interesting story, you know. And then it is in the in the in the memory before memory, you know. We you know, there's the actual memory, and that's uh, in Hebrew. So, man, I'm just telling you, you know, this, uh, um, you know, uh, but uh, we we're going to, uh, but. What happened is uh, also in chapter uh, uh, twenty-five. Uh, I'm going to ask uh, Gerard to read the, the rest of the story, the rest of the story about how, well, you know, what happened with uh, Ishmael. And these are the name of the son of Ishmael oh. by the yeah the blood. Yeah, but don't the, don't read the individual because uh, they take uh, you know <laughs> uh, just okay. uh, go, going over the uh, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. Yes. These are the sons of Ishmael, and these are the names by their tongues and by their castles. Twelve princes according to their nations, and these are the years of the life of Ishmael, and hundred and thirty and seven years, and he gave up the ghost and died, and was gathered unto his people. And they dwell from Havila unto Shur, that is before Egypt. As thou go toward Assyria, and he died in the presence of all his brethren. Brethren, yes, thank you. So, so you know the uh, the the children of Ishmael, and and become you know like um, twelve princes. You know also. Twelve princes, you know, is a uh, kind of like, you know, in other words, uh, they become, uh, you know, kind of like at least uh, twelve nations, twelve nations, you know, big, big, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, descendants, uh, you know, uh, you know, a number of descendants, yeah, they they were very big, and then also uh, the verse king is really um, uh, interesting, but you know, I'm going to show to you, yeah, you know, in the Arab world, it's a uh, like you know, it's almost like a uh, uh, half billion people. Half billion people. It's uh, actually right now is twenty two uh, sovereign states. You know, twenty two countries. You know, for the Arab lead. You know, and and uh, to think, you know, uh, you know, of course, uh, China and India is uh, the largest race. You know, China is like one point four billion. And then India is also 1.4 billion. You know, they are about uh, the same, you know, this year, you know, exactly, you know, the India are catching up, you know, uh, with more, you know, more birth, you know. And, uh, but, you know, the Arabs is not a uh, few. 
the Arabs is uh, uh, almost, you know, half billion people. You know, it's not 1.4, but uh, it's still big. And and so, you know, it's uh, like God uh, was uh, also with the Arabs, you know, in a different way. You know, not uh, not as a as a pictorial uh, for you know the story of Jesus, but you know still you know God have not uh, for you know forgotten you know the Arabs. So you know you look at all these nations, all these nations, uh, you know, and 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 you know there's no way you know they they would be uh, you know uh, you know uh, they, uh, destroy. You know, uh, people somehow think, you know, well, you know, if uh, God is against them, you know, then, uh, you know, they should be destroyed. You know, this is all wrong, you know, and uh, God has uh, have a mercy on uh, all the people of the world, all the people of the world. And, and uh, so, you know, uh, but, you know, the, in, you know, there's a last verse of the uh, uh, the, the account of Ishmael is uh, chapter 25, verse 18 of, of that chapter. And then I'm going to share with you because uh, previously we have we have uh, talked about that, you know, like you know, there's a mention of Havila talking about Ishmael, and and also his uh, race, you know, or his uh, you know uh, uh, the, you know future descendants, Havila, and then Shu before Egypt, and then Assyria, and then death, you know, and and so Havila actually turned out. Is uh, the 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 uh, a name and a place for Eden, Eden. You know, in uh, chapter two of uh, Genesis, Havila is uh, uh We already found out Havila is yes the 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 time and place of Eden. You know, the the time of creation. In other words, it, it was a very good time. You know, God uh, created heaven. You know, the world. You know, the you know uh, and, and uh, a place uh, a garden of uh, Eden. So, you know, Havilah was good, you know, and then uh, Ishmael also come from there, you know, he, because he's God, you know, so, uh, uh, you know, Ishmael and uh, along with Isaac, you know, both are come from there. But, you know, and then, you know, in uh, in the account of the Bible, um, this is soon before Egypt, you know, uh, you know, that's uh, the worst. But actually, the, the you know, uh, in the, in the uh, Genesis story, I mean the Exodus story actually is after they uh, they they were liberated you know the after the Hebrew were liberated from uh, Egypt then uh, they came to the plain of Su and then so actually Su is before the Sinai Su is before Sinai so you know this is very interesting in other words it's a play on word so Su before Egypt means uh, Su is before Ten Commandments. In other words, Ten Commandments is also a also a a, 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 a prison. Ten Commandments, the law is also a prison, just like Egypt. Egypt is a physical prison. Ten Commandments is a, a spiritual prison. You know, so Su before Egypt. In other words, you know that when people uh, you know. Uh, uh, you know, along uh, along the way, they uh, you know they try to do their religions, you know, by law and things like that, and uh, so they get into you know from a physical prison, you know, uh, the Egypt, but uh, you know the open open air, uh, Egypt is an open air prison, you know, so uh, all, all the all the Hebrew people were there for four hundred and thirty years, you know, and uh, but you know the Ten Commandment, the the Mount Sinai. Is also a prison, you know. It's a spiritual prison. In other words, the people try to do the law and thinking, you know, they they can help themselves, but uh, doesn't work. But in the end, you know, they were on their way to Assyria. Assyria is a very special word, you know, because uh, there's another word called Asher. Asher is uh, is uh, one of the son of uh, of the uh, of Jacob. Uh, Asher. And uh, also, there's a tribal Asher, you know. So, so uh, it turned out the Asher is uh, means a uh, blessing and happiness, you know, blessing and happiness. Uh, that's what God wants for uh, His people. But Assyria is uh, they have a hand, you know. They have a youth inside Asher, you know. They just put a, another hand in it. So Assyria is not a good good thing. But Asher is Asher is from God. You know the law. You know blessing on 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 people of uh, his uh, people. You know so Asher is the last day, the last blessing of Moses. Also, it's the last day blessing for us. 
Asher because of Jesus, you know. So Asher is happy and blessing, okay? And the same thing uh, in the gospel, you know, that's uh, why it's called good news. God's uh, spell, you know, on us, you know, is a good news. But, you know, the people, uh, they they instead, they, they practice the um, religion. A, a religion is uh, like they try to get blessing and happiness by hand, by his own hand. You know, somehow they think that they can do it, you know. Uh, but, you know, no one can uh, get to heavens, you know. So uh, it's, a, it's a dead end, you know, it's a, a serious the man's way, you know, there's a man's way, there's a God's way. Uh, so end up, you know, the Ishmael, you know, is, um, you know, uh, just like the people of the world, you know, all, all the people of the world, uh, you know, uh, by themselves, you know, they they would uh, end up, be, uh, you know, die, you know. And um, so that bring, bring up, a, you know, a very interesting uh, a concept, you know, because uh, when Egypt, was an open air prison um, for uh, for the Hebrew uh, you know people uh, for four hundred and thirty years. It's a it's an open air you know uh, you know so in the Hebrew word for Egypt is uh, Misrian Misrian you know the I N means a, a double it's a double narrow street it's a double narrow street so uh, this word you know Misrian. Uh, you know, it's a Hebrew word uh, for the name of Egypt. And uh, the reason why it's called double narrow strip is uh, because uh, it represents the upper and lower Egypt, upper and lower Egypt. And uh, so, uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, the, and that's why, you know, uh, even though uh, they were the super country at that time, you know, like U.S., it was a super country. But, you know, in, uh, in, uh, in, in real life, you know, they, uh, you know, in those days, you know, the 430 years old, uh, you know, uh, they they were uh, in prison. You know, the Hebrew uh, uh, children were in prison in Egypt, uh, so so that they can build the pyramid, uh, the all the quick, uh, you know, uh, uh, constructions uh, of of Egypt. You know, and and uh, I'm I'm going to show it to you why it's called double narrow strip. This is. This is the uh, actual, you know, uh, 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 you know, the, you know, uh, the, 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 it's, uh, the whole, uh, you know, livelihood, the whole economy of Egypt is because of the River Nile. The River Nile has uh, been there, you know, a long time, uh, you know, and, uh, for a long time, they didn't even know the uh, source of River Nile because, uh, no, no one figured out until, uh, you know, uh, a couple of centuries ago, you know, that uh, they went up and they found out the source of River Nile. But uh, before that, you know, they just live and let live, you know. And and so, you know, uh, the the the, uh, the whole uh, country of Egypt is uh, mostly desert. And uh, the only place uh, where they have uh, uh, support uh, for the people is uh, along the banks of River Nile. So this is uh, like the Upper Egypt and Lower Egypt. It's uh, the double narrow strip. It's uh, really a narrow strip, you know, or land that uh, they sustain the life and the livelihood of the, you know, the super country Egypt. You know, that's why he, the, the name in, uh, in Hebrew language is called Misrian. <laughs> Misrian, you know, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, um, and that's uh, where, you know, they have. They have, um, you know, um, you know, uh, four hundred and thirty years of uh, sufferings uh, of the Hebrew children uh, in Egypt. You know, they they somehow manage in life, but but what happened is actually now today's world is uh, there's also a double double um, narrow strip, and it's not just Gaza. It's a it's a it's a if you look at the longitude. Of, of, of this place, you know, it's not Egypt. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, uh, you know, from Ukraine to Turkey, you know, where Antioch was uh, destroyed uh, there early this year, and then to uh, to uh, to Gaza, you know, they they are pretty much of the same longitude. It's a uh, kind of like you know, this is the 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 uh, today is the is the Egypt. Uh, you know the the physical Egypt of, of the uh, you know where most of the sufferings are. You know 
Ukraine, you know, the, they have the war, you know, with all these uh, Christian countries. And then Turkey, you know, the Eastern Turkey is uh, virtually destroyed by the earthquake in February. And uh, so, uh, you know, this is, uh, you know, one of the biggest uh, refugee, uh, you know, uh, uh, part, part of the world, you know, 50,000 uh, people died, you know, there early this year. And then, of course, uh, there's the war of, uh, you know, Gaza, you know, between the uh, children of Israel and the, and the children of the Arab world. You know, it's a uh, way said, of course, you know, and and and, and uh, it is uh, the intention of the ruler of the world. The ruler of the world is the devil. You know, he uh, he's behind all this uh, steal, kill and destroy, you know. So, uh, you know, uh, all this conflict and all these, uh, you know, uh, things, uh, you know, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, all in that uh, in that uh, double narrow strip, you know, in the world right now, you know. And of course, you know, uh, you know, in uh, in uh, in the ancient time, you know, Moses, the law sent Moses to to save the Hebrew children to come out from Egypt, and now it's uh, you know almost time, you know, and and Jesus uh, will come, and uh, we will we'll deal with the, this uh, all this uh, mess, you know, uh, <laughs> to save uh, people of the world, save people of the world. Um, you know, uh, because he's the savior of the world, not not just uh, for a, a few countries or a few, uh, uh, you know, Christian place, you know, it's uh, for the savior of the world, salvation of the world, you know, so many other people, you know, including the Arabs, uh, you know, many of will, 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 them will, will turn to Jesus. Now, uh, this is another picture, uh, you know, uh, you know, in uh, Jesus' time, you know, when he, Jesus was a baby, uh, that's what happened. And uh, it is in the same uh, area of the uh, geography. So I'm going to ask uh, Gerard to read this, uh, uh, this, this Matthew chapter 2 about Herod uh, that killed all these uh, innocent babies. Then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked of the wise men, was exceeding wrath, and sent forth and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem and in all the coasts, therefore, from two years old and under, according to the time which he had diligently required of the wise men, then was fulfilled the debt which was spoken by Jeremy the prophet, saying, In Ramah was there a voice heard. Lament lamentation and weeping and great mourning, Rachel weeping for their children and would not be comforted because they are not. Yeah, yeah. So uh, this is, uh, you know, uh, the, when uh, baby Jesus uh, was going to be killed by uh, the Herod, you know, the reason why Herod wants to kill baby Jesus is uh, Herod is the pretend, pretender king of Judea, you know, he, he wants to be the king of Judea. He's not a Jew, but, you know, he wanted to be the king. So he helped build the temple. Someone is trying to build a temple now, you know. So uh, this is, um, you know, the Herod, you know. And then, and then, so what happened was that when he found out, you know, he couldn't kill a baby Jesus, he killed all the two years old. Yeah, where? All the two years old. Uh, in uh, in uh, like Rama and Rachel, it's uh, all in the the south southern land. Southern land is like Gaza, you know, like um, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, Bethlehem, and uh, you know, they they were in Bethlehem, and uh, you know, all the coast there of you know, in other words, uh, they, all those nearby places like Rachel and Rama, you know. Because uh, you know Herod is uh, the the king appointed by the Romans to to uh, to to uh, you know oversee the, the Judea you know the Judea the, uh, including the wilderness and the desert of Judea like Bathsheba and Gaza and uh, and the Dead Sea. Yeah, so uh, you know that 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 was the account. You know that uh, you know all these uh, innocent uh, babies uh, were killed. You know by Herod. You know the you know all the two years old. You know and of course you know uh, you know the uh, the one that carried it out. You know, the armies, uh, the Romans, the and also uh, the the Herodians uh, guards. You know 
and uh, uh, they are also responsible. And uh, the law is not going to hold hold them uh, uh, not uh, not guilty, you know, because uh, you know anyone that touch uh, the 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 two years old and under, you know, uh, they 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 are you know obviously uh, not Jesus' way, and uh, so you know anyone that uh, touch them, and uh, we we have to answer to the law, you know. So uh, you know, I I hate to say you know, but uh, you know people uh, you know and 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 say oh uh, you know we are against abortion, but uh, you know we don't mind killing uh, you know other race you know uh, two years old and under you know uh, that's not really the law you know the law is uh, going to hold them all all the atrocity all the war crimes you know may not be judged by by men. but uh, you you know in in time to come you know they they will have to answer to the law. And and so you know, that is that's really it. You know, yeah, we have, we have, uh, you know, uh, uh, in the Galatian, uh, we are, uh, you know, we already know we are the uh, Gentiles. We are by the promise of the Spirit, full faith. Uh, we are the blessing. We have the blessing of Abraham. We are the seed of Abraham, and uh, so Christ have uh, redeemed us from the curse of the law. Uh, so you you can only have either Christ or the law, you know. When you practice the law, you know, then uh, you you miss out on the Christ, the salvation and the blessing. Uh, so, uh, well, you know, uh, so much for it, you know, because the uh, Lord, uh, you know, is is uh, is uh, also safe. Lord was also safe, but Barry. So uh, it's just like uh, you know, there's there's a uh, you know mention of this. Uh, um, you know, in uh, Corinthians uh, chapter three, you know that, you know, uh, Jesus is uh, for all the believers is the foundation. But on top, how do you build on top? You know, and uh, you know some people build with the, uh, the gold, silver, and precious stone. Other people build with wood, hay, and stubble. You know, it's uh, by either by his hand, you know, then uh, it will be burned away with fire. It will be revealed by fire. In other words, uh, you know, um, you know the uh, the work, you know, the religious uh, work, uh, will be burned away. Uh, only those those uh, that are uh, in the name of Jesus and uh, by the by the blessing of Jesus, those uh, will be will be kept because uh, those are gold, silver, and precious stone. So near the end now, uh, we're going to have uh, the Holy Communion. So uh, we we're going to do that. Um, because um, uh, you know this is uh, one of the biggest things uh, we 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 um, we can get you know so uh, uh, we're going to before the end uh, we're going to uh, do the holy communion uh, so uh, we're going to watch the video and then have the communion alongside with them um, you know with other people. And the Bible tells us that the early church was sick. Many were falling asleep before their time. I kind of wish they didn't say many, for one singular reason, not discerning the Lord's body. And that's why I endeavor that every Sunday we have communion. And especially when we come to the bread, that's neglected all over the world. Many mainstream churches that partake, if they do partake, they focus more on the cup. But the Bible says it's not discerning the body that's causing the problem. Why are there two elements? When the blood is taken from the body, that's death. The Lord's Supper is not about His resurrection. It's about His death. It's proclaiming the Lord's death till He comes. Amen. So why the two elements? Well, friend, by His stripes your cancer died. By His stripes, your blood pressure is normalized. By His stripes, all the blockage in your arteries are cleared. By His stripes, you have brand new kidneys. By His stripe, your youth is renewed like the eagles. So God puts a premium in what you eat. Let's eat the food of the champions.
lifted up before the Lord. Say, Lord Jesus, by your stripes, by your stripes, I am healed. May every wheat hold. My youth and strength is renewed like the eagles. My body is restored to that of a young man, a young woman. By your stripe, through your grace, I will live to be 120. My eye is not dim, my strength not abated. Completely strong and healthy. But take. healing is taking place all those of you who are watching via television in the name of the Lord Jesus healing be in that body right now in the name of the Lord Jesus friend you have partaken the very reason that God releases healing today God cannot release healing in the body of a sinner without a righteous foundation but God has found the ransom. God has found the righteous foundation. And the blood that we demonstrate right now has been shed, giving you, regardless of how much you think you've sinned against God, how far away you are from God, if you come trusting the work of His Son, the blood that has been shed, God has a righteous foundation to heal your body. Amen. And God wants you well. I said, God wants you well. Amen. And the righteous foundation is this. Jesus took the cup and said, This blood of the new covenant. This cup is the blood of the new covenant. For the forgiveness, the sending away, the remission of sins. In other words, when you drink this cup, you must not drink conscious of your sin still in your body, but you must drink in consciousness that it is sent away. Like the scapegoat carries away your sin. Christ has taken away your sins. Drink. Amen, amen, amen. Are you blessed? Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you guys. So uh, we're going to close with a prayer. Dear okay. Lord Jesus, uh, thank you. Thank you very much that uh, you give us the comfort and know that uh, we have the eternal life. Uh, you know, uh, we have received, partake in your flesh and uh, we have received your cup, your your, your blood. And that uh, in the last days, and uh, you're going to give us the eternal life, your abundant life. And, and um, you know, the blessing and healing on us. Lord Jesus, I'm praying for the, uh, you know, uh, everyone that uh, uh, you would give them healing, blessing, protections, provisions, and shalom peace, uh, particularly for Gerard and his family, blessing on, on each one of them, and uh, uh, that uh, you, you help them and uh, you give them joy, peace, and righteousness. But not only uh, for us, uh, but also for the uh, all the audience, all the audience, uh, no matter where they are, uh, whether in uh, in uh, California or other states, or in Canada, or in Hong Kong or Taiwan, and uh, that uh, you would bless them, and uh, heal them, and uh, protect them, and uh, give them shalom peace, and uh, not only for them, but also for their families. In the name of Jesus Christ, at the sound of my voice, I bless them. Uh, that uh, you would uh, help them 
and uh, bless them uh, because you are the Lord. And they have, um, you know, you have um, taken, uh, you know, all the sufferings and pain and uh, and uh, so that we can be healed, be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Yeah. Good night. Good night. And uh, see you next time. Thank okay. you. God bless you all. Amen.